get ready to dive into the mermaid life, in many cases literally, as we're going to look at 10 types of mermaids to consider playing as in The Sims 4. For access to mermaids, you will need the Island Living Expansion Pack, and note that the mermaids featured here are just to help inspire mermaid gameplay, so mix, match, add to, and appropriate the types of mermaids here to your heart's content. We're going to start off with an off-the-grid mermaid who's living their best tropical paradise life without access to electricity and tap water. Unless, of course, you produce it yourself. Not only does living on an island scream off the grid, but mermaids also have some very handy abilities that help them with this lifestyle. Notably, their hydration need can be replenished from swimming in the ocean, and mermaids can sleep on water, essentially eliminating the need for a bed. Mermaids can also call over the Azua dolphin whenever they like, which interacting with can replenish both their fun and social needs. In even more great news, there's a public bathroom located in each of the three Sulani neighborhoods, and the Sulani Volcanic Barbecue Sierra object provides an incredibly natural looking way for Sims to have access to food. Overall, off the grid living is a pretty awesome and unique way to play, and doing so as a mermaid can feel even more seamless. Also a side note is that if you also have the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack, that also adds a lot of off the grid gameplay. Moving on now to the Treasure Hunter Mermaid. Yes, you can totally beach comb for shells, but mermaids are also incredibly fast in water, and near a deep water buoy, you can buy the treasure tool that lets you free dive for treasure, or the diving knife that lets you dive for seashells. On top of this, on Moapel Am, there's also a cave that can be explored, often with the result being that your sim will uncover some treasure. This playstyle ties in really well with both the seashells and the buried treasure collections that come with the pack, and if you have the Get to Work expansion pack, then you can even consider setting up a retail store to sell your treasures. Alternatively, the Jungle Adventure game pack and both the Eco Lifestyle and City Living expansion packs both bring with them sales tables that you can use to make a pop-up store and sell your treasures. Of course, you can also just sell them straight from your inventory too. Overall, it's a very fun and explorative way to play, which I love. Next up, it's time to look at playing as an evil mermaid. I feel because mermaids are so lovable, often the idea of having one that's evil isn't the first thing that comes to mind. This being said, you can absolutely make a mermaid look quite terrifying in Creator Sim, and being evil can tie in nicely with their siren's call power. This power is unavailable to mermaids with the good trait, which in a sense suggests that it's a bit evil to begin with, and it will see your mermaid sim pull another sim underwater, draining their needs into the red, while at the same time significantly boosting their own. It's quite a mean power to use on others, but it does make caring for your mermaid very easy. And of course, you can use lots of mischievous and mean interactions too in order to bring your evil sim to life even more. The fourth type of mermaid we're going to look at is a romantic mermaid charmer. This is brought to life through the charmer's lullaby power that mermaids have, which will make the target sim flirty and, you know, then help you in your romantic pursuits. Love aspirations such as the serial romantic and soulmate also work well for this playstyle, and choosing either of these as your mermaid's first aspiration will give the bonus trait of alluring, which just makes your romantic interactions more successful. If you manage to complete the serial romantic aspiration, then it will award the player trait, which means that other sims will never get jealous of your sim's romantic shenanigans, and completing the soulmate aspiration provides special interactions with your spouse. Let's also not forget the beguiling satisfaction point reward trait, which helps you to make other sims flirty, as well as the great kisser satisfaction point reward trait, which makes your kissers much more successful and sees them raise your sim's charisma. I feel like this type of mermaid has a nice mix of fun, playfulness, and chaotic energy, and we love romantic beachside moments. 
And of course, this has the ability to go down both the serial data kind of pathway or a more family oriented one. Let's now look at playing as a conservationist mermaid, whereby you'll devote time and energy into cleaning up Sulani and restoring its environment. You can comb the beach for trash or clear rubbish from the seas, among a few other ways to clean the environment. Joining the conservationist career also unlocks a range of additional ways to clean up Sulani, such as writing conservation articles. Going into this career will eventually see you choose between being a marine biologist or an environmental manager. And in both of these branches at level 9 in the career, you can shoot wildlife documentaries, which ties in quite nicely with this playstyle. While the conservationist career is the most obvious pathway for this type of mermaid, it isn't the only option. For example, if you have the City Living Expansion Pack, then you can join the politician career, whereby you can choose to support the Speak for the Trees cause. We all love a tree. Also, if you have the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack, then you can also look at improving the eco footprint in Sulani and using various environmentally friendly objects from the pack, such as solar panels, to generate electricity. A quick side note is that if Sulani is thriving, then you'll even be able to run into the albino dolphin on Moi Pel Am, which is an awesome added bonus for all your hard work. A mermaid fisherman or woman is next. Mermaids make excellent fishes because of their aquatic lure power that they can use on fishing spots. This sees light blue lights swirl around that spot and it will provide a boost to fishing in that location helping you to catch rarer fish for a period of time. In addition, Island Living brings with it a huge range of gorgeous tropical fish, and combined with other fish from the base game, it means that there are lots to collect and place in tanks. Seeing as mermaids can talk to fish in tanks too, it's kind of cute, almost like your mermaid is collecting friends. Also, while there's nothing wrong with normal tanks, with a bit of build mode cheating, you can create a beautiful aquarium style tank, which I absolutely recommend for this play style. Don't just fish from the shore either. Head out to islands or in boats and enjoy every aspect of Sulani. For this play style, definitely consider the angling ace aspiration for your mermaid, and if you're making friends with fish, then don't forget to make friends with the dolphins as well. The seventh type of mermaid to consider playing as is a nature or sea life artist slash photographer. That's right, whip out your cameras or your paintbrushes and start taking in the beauty that Sulani offers. For this kind of play style, you'll want to capture moments that float your mermaid sims boat. Well, if they needed a boat, they don't really need a boat because they're mermaids. It could be beautiful sunsets, crystal clear waters, and all the aquatic and sea life within. If Sulani is thriving, then definitely head on over to the turtle hatching event when it takes place because we do love baby turtles. On top of this, know that you can purchase an underwater camera from deep water buoys for 1000 simoleons and doing so then allows you to take underwater photos. While these are not a part of any official collection, they are absolutely gorgeous and there are 10 in total that you can pick up. Also note that taking underwater photos will train up your photography skill. This really is an awesome playstyle for a more creative minded mermaid. Moving on now to looking at playing as a mermaid ghost. For this, you'll need to sadly kill off your mermaid before strengthening their grave's connection to the world. Then hang around their grave until a ghost appears, make friends with their ghost, and invite them to join your household. After you've done this, you'll now have a mermaid to play as that has access to both all of the mermaid powers and interactions, and all of the ghost powers and interactions, which can be quite fun and a rather unique combo. Next up, for number 9, we're looking at a club leader mermaid. And know that you will need the Get Together expansion pack for this one. You know fish move in schools and animals in packs, and I thought it was time for mermaids to move in a group too. I mean, why not? For this, you'll want to set up a club and then tweak the requirements to make the mermaid trait required to join. Then just decide what your mermaids like doing together when they gather. Some good options include conservation activities, fishing, swimming, diving in the ocean, and even singing for if you have the city living expansion pack. 
Of course, while these activities tie in closely with what you'd expect from a mermaid, you can definitely go more left of field and choose whichever activities you like. And now the 10th and final type of mermaid to consider playing as is a yoga or meditation instructor mermaid. This will require the Spa Day Gang Pack, and I just feel that the mystical and beautiful nature of mermaids ties in really well with the relaxed vibes that yoga and meditation instructors bring. Simply buy a yoga mat or meditation stool and practice for a little while, before then leading your own classes with sims who will happily pay you. What's great is that this is the kind of career path that can see your mermaid take on more freelance style work. So they'll have a lot of flexibility and plenty of time to pursue other things as they see fit. And with that, we're at the end. That's 10 types of mermaids to consider playing as in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.